Right guys, so today in the workshop is honestly one of my favorite vehicles and as a young boy, probably one of my lifetime dreams. I don't own one yet, but um, dreams do come true, so maybe one day. Basically, the G-Class. Mercedes-Benz G-Class, or as guys commonly refer to them as G-Wagons, are one of the most iconic military designed and inspired vehicles from back in the day. I'm pretty sure they used to start making them during the 70s. So the shape hasn't changed much, but nowadays, like this G-Class Professional, is sporting a six-cylinder, three-liter diesel motor, turboed, and, um, but still some of the old, original, basic and simplistic internals and functionality. Diff locks, front, rear and center on this guy. And really, factory standard comes out with a lot. As you can see on this vehicle, roof racks, front bull bar as well. That's all factory standard on these things. Now, our job today is to turn this vehicle into a tourer. Now, customer Dean has come in. And as you can see on the top there, is a mad keen surfer. So one thing to do is to configure the rooftop tent to be able to take the surfboards in a really easy manner, as well as a solar panel. The other thing is to try and get a lowest fitment possible to this vehicle, just so that it retains its highway driving, basically functionality. So the main goal is to remove the factory standard roof rack, take that off completely. That's gonna save us a whole heap of weight and other than that, we're gonna be able to get the tent into a lower position. We'll be fitting an AX27 rooftop tent, as well as an awning today, a couple of load bars to take those surfboards, as well as a solar panel and solar panel brackets. So stay tuned for the end of this build, we'll run through the whole lot. But let's get stuck in. Just to show you in the meantime, these are the front runner load bars we're going to do. So as you can imagine, four of these, easy gutter mount replacing the entire roof rack. So that is gonna be our first basic start. Let's go. Right guys, so been through the workshop now. So it wasn't a massive install, but getting the old existing roof rack off was a pretty challenge. And let me tell you something, it's a steel rack. It weighs quite a bit. So we saved a huge amount of weight by removing that. Now, as you can see on the front runner load bars, it is a very, very neat fit. And actually fits the vehicle really well. And being in black, it came up an absolute treat. So what we have on the top is a 180 watt solar panel and that has been offset to the one side so that we can still run surfboards pretty much permanently up the other side. So you're getting your charging to your battery but still able to have your surfboards up there. Also notice that the load bars on top have had their high foot brackets extensions added on. That way your boards or any product you're stacking on top of your roof racks or load bars are clearing the top of the solar panels so it doesn't interfere. Now, when setting this up, you're gonna set it up with your ladder, but from the rear axis, you're gonna be opening the door. As far as entry goes, you're gonna be side entering this rooftop tent. So let's have a look-see on how we go. So we've just popped the ladder in Yeah. Now you can store your ladders in the tent as well, obviously. So to show you this quickly, remove the ladder out of the bag like that. Simply pop that open. Now I'm gonna open up the door in this instance like that, there we go, and extend the ladder into position, locking it into place, and literally, there we go, easy access. Now one thing you notice is, on the rear here, is our spring rod adapter bracket, that is allowing us to clear the awning without having to bend a dog leg into the actual bracket itself. So simply raise that up over there, and then pull down the bungee cord like that. Now, as far as your spring rods go, the one spring rod would have been cut down to suit the spring rod adapter bracket, and that's this one over here. Simply hook that into position and slide it into the adapter bracket there. And then the opposite side goes into that side and slots into its position. From now, you simply remove the ladder and you'll place the ladder on the ladder mount on the right hand side of the vehicle just around the corner, and that is where you're gonna be entering the, the tent from. Now, awning opening up the 270 XT Max awning in this instance, and this is on the passenger side. Nice big opening on the awning. Zips down, or Velcros down rather, like such. You got your front arm. Now I'm gonna take this all the way around the corner and not attach it, or not tighten it yet. So I'm gonna take this around and hook it onto the, the bracket over there, the strap hook bracket for the awning. And just slack that up so I've got a bit less tension on it. 
and then bring the rear arms around the back as well and bring that all the way to attaching it to the strap hook bracket on this side and simply tensioning it up to roughly its 90 degree position. Now on these awnings I like to go back to the front and as you'll see when I tension this up it'll take this droop out of the canvas on that end and literally pull it across to that. Absolute massive shade setup as well as the rooftop tent. Guys, we don't get many G-Wagons in so it's fantastic to see them and let me tell you one thing. It came up a treat and it's definitely on my book of vehicles to get in the future. So thank you for watching this video on our AX27 rooftop tent as well as our 270 XT Max awning. Don't forget to go bush and I'll catch you later.